I haven't been standing here in a while, at least not on camera. This is my new room layout, and wow, guys, we've reached 100 subscribers. Guys, forget 100, we've got 101! I can't believe this. This is going higher every single day, and I cannot thank you all enough. Thank you so much. And as a treat, I thought I'd show you my setup. Now this was going to be a fake VIP2 video, but to be honest, <laughs> not only does the fake VIP have more subscribers, but that's really not the main reason I'm doing this. The main reason is I want to show you how I get stuff done, and this is how I get stuff done most of the time. This is my setup. So as you will have seen three months ago, I got this Mac Pro. This is a 2009 model Mac Pro. The specs are on screen right now. Um, it is an amazing machine, go watch my video on it if you haven't already. I accumulated quite a bit of money, and <laughs> I got this with it. I cannot believe I own one of these things, it's absolutely amazing, and yeah, it's running these three displays. So, we'll go over this. The first one is the main display, which is a Panasonic Viera 32 inch, that's what has the webcam on top of it. This is a smart TV from a decent while ago, 2014 I believe, full HD, you know, 32 inches of pretty nice quality screen. I need to change the mode on it because there's just two things I care about in a screen, black level and resolution. This can have both of them if you set it up right, but right now it is not, it's set to dynamic mode. On the left we have my first ever TV, this is a 20 or a 22 or a 21 and a half inch or something. I think it's, I don't think it's 22, I think it's less than that. LG TV, made in about 2010. This is also a full HD and is also amazing and also has a pretty decent black level for what I need. So that's amazing. Now this one is a bit different. This is a 22 inch 16 by 10 Dell monitor, has a resolution of 1680 by 1050 which is pretty decent and I got this for zero pence yes I got this for free of somebody who was just giving me a load of free computer stuff it's amazing and there it is and it works really well these are all set up using my AMD Radeon RX 570 and everything works really well the keyboard is a 33 quid E-Element Z88 mechanical keyboard, and as you can tell, it's made for gamers. And also, this is a ridiculously cheap mechanical keyboard. Cherry MX Blues, as you can probably hear. Everybody should get one of these if they have 30 quid spare. They're absolutely amazing. I love mine. The mouse, I also got for free. This is a random wireless mouse that works really well, and I like it because it has a nice proper click. Unlike a load of other mice I have around here, which have silly clicks that aren't clicky anymore because they've changed the micro switches. Down here you can see I've got the remotes for the TVs but I've also got this. This is a USB 2.0 hub. Now the thing about these Mac Pro towers is they're great but there's only three USB ports on the back. I have a lot of peripherals so I connected this up. It's a powered hub so I can charge things off it and things like that as well. This has the mouse, the microphone, which I'll get to in a minute, and a USB extension cable that normally goes off around the back of the desk to a TV tuner behind that TV, but I've temporarily taken that out because I'm doing a project with it right now. Uh, sometimes there's other things plugged in there as well, like sometimes I plug in the compute stick's power. Yes, I have a compute stick, it's back here. Right now I'm not doing much with it, but we'll see. Might do something with it in the future. Uh, the other things I have plugged in, so obviously that has three of the devices. The other two devices that are plugged in around the back of here are the Logitech C930E webcam, which I absolutely love. It's the best webcam I've ever had by a long shot, and I really like it. And, of course, the keyboard. Now, this microphone I said I was going to get to earlier, this is a Blue Snowball Ice. Now, I was an idiot. I wanted to get a Blue Snowball. I had no idea what the difference was, so I got the Blue Snowball Ice by accident. But it's a really nice microphone nonetheless. The stand is completely broken, and I would really like a better stand anyway, because I broke this. Oh, it's typical me and breaking tripods and things. It works alright, using its original blue cable, uh, because <laughs> almost any other cable doesn't really fit very well. Now you will have noticed the speakers here. This is indeed a surround sound system, with the sender up there, 
which is really annoying because you can't hear it, but I've got nowhere else to put it currently unless I mount this TV to the bed, which would be absolutely awesome, and I might do that in the future, but not right now. And then there's the left, there's the right, there's the rear right, and over here is the rear left. Sorry, I've probably just made everyone sick. And you may notice a bit of an issue here. Yeah, the cable's curled around it. This system, by the way, the subwoofer's under the desk. There. Which you probably can't see. Um, this system is great. has a couple issues. The main one is, that speaker over there, the connector on it, just completely broke. And then we sold a new one on it, and turns out I was an idiot. I sold it on a broken connector. So I need to take that to Dad's and get another RCA cable, another RCA connector put on there. And also, I'd quite like it to be extended as well, because it has to go all the way from preferably this shelf, because that's about the right height, all the way down the back of the shelves, along here, diagonally under the carpet over there, and then all the way from there to this subwoofer. So it's a pretty long cable. That has a pretty long cable. I don't think it's long enough. But other than that, this works really nicely. Even just using the two front stereo pair, which I haven't been, I've got it hooked up to a little adapter, so the Mac is running stereo, but through all the speakers. I would like to get an optical DAC for this, so I can run true surround sound through it, and this has optical out, so I could do that. But I haven't done that yet. And this is the main setup. The only other thing I should point out, GoPro mount up there, that is for use, well, to put this camera on if I'm ever doing stuff on this desk, which isn't very often, but, you know, it's a good place to keep that mount, if nothing else. There is also a cable coming down here. This is an antenna cable. On top of the bed, which I'm not going to show you because you can't see it anyway, there's loads of stuff up there, is a regular analog TV aerial, and it's plugged into this TV, and I can pick up a decent few digital channels on there. Uh, you know, I barely ever use it because I don't really watch TV, but it's a thing. I have jammed a light here. There is no good place. Wow, that's bright. There is no good place to put a light on this setup, and I never use it anyway. But, you know, if I ever want some light over that side of the desk, because once this light's off, it's rather dark, I can do so. This is one of the main power towers. This is a 10 plug. I'm not using all 10 plugs. I think that would be slightly ridiculous. Um, most of the monitors are plugged in here, and some of the devices on top of the table. The other one is down behind the subwoofer, and you probably can't see it. Now these two computers are interesting. This top one is a shell, it doesn't have a power supply and stuff in it right now. This is my old computer before I got the Mac Pro. It has an i3 system in it, first generation i3, it's not very good. It's alright, you know, but I have better things, the Mac. Just for comparison here, this is my previous desktop. This is where my RX 570 used to live, all this stuff. I've gutted lots of stuff out of this, for example, it has no RAM right now. It's a perfectly functional system, I just need to put a power supply and RAM in it, because I took the RAM out for the Dell Optiplex 780, which is currently at Dad's. Underneath it, if I move this bin out of the way, we have my HP, and you may notice a bit of a hole here, we'll get to why that is in a minute. This is pretty much the computer that started this channel. It's an HP DC5700 from 2007, shipped with Windows XP Professional Edition. I still have the product key and stuff for that. And this is the machine that I made the My Thoughts on Ubuntu Mate 1604 video on. Hi guys, welcome to a quick video. Sorry for the audio quality. Um, I'm just using the webcam on my desktop, so I don't know how good this is going to be. It's the machine I made my most popular video, which is Random Access Review App 1, which is not what it was called when I posted it, by the way. I've changed the name of that video about 500 times now, um, which was Ubuntu Mate 1604. And you may notice in that video that I am visually impaired. So, some of you may be thinking, well, how do I get around a computer then? Well, I'll show you today. This has taken me through a lot, and I haven't retired it just yet. It's just currently not in use because I've built a slightly better system that you'll see in a minute. Moving along, you can see over here, these are the plugs. I have a USB cable up down there going up to the Echo Dot up there, and these two plugs are for those two extension cords. Now then, Piano. I do have MIDI cables coming out of the back of this to a USB thing. It currently doesn't reach. I need to buy a really long USB extension cable because it has to get all the way from there to pretty much there. And I can do that, I just haven't done it yet, but I have had it hooked up in the past when I chained multiple extensions together, and it worked really well. 
we can't wait to start using this with GarageBand because it is a really, really nice piano. Football gear. This is a VCR. This is the only VCR I own that works. It's a really cheap unit from the mid 2000s or early 2000s. Used to be my grandparents, I own it now, I also own all the tapes as you can see, including a lot of my childhood collection, which I never watch anymore, but you know, nice to have them on display on this shelf. This is the PC that stole a load of the parts. This is an AMD Phenom system, quad core, AM2+, Plus. it is nothing special, the CPU came out in 2006. And it has two optical drives, four gigs of DDR2 RAM, I have a load of that stuff lying around. A floppy drive, which I have hooked up and it works, and I'm using it to archive floppy disks, I find. And the card reader from the HP, because I want to have a card reader. No name, well not no name, it's a Dell keyboard. This is the HP optical mouse, now listen to this click. Very different. It, this one's pretty good, but not nearly as good as the one I have on my main setup. Uh, that's a little wireless mouse there. We've got these two Logitech speakers, which are USB. I bought these for a grand total of 12 British pounds sterling. And, well, yeah. Pretty good deal, actually. They don't sound half bad, and you would think they do. This TV is our old kitchen TV. I think it's made by LG. I can't remember. No, it's not made by LG. I don't know what that is. I can't read that. It's probably a no-name TCL or something. Anyway... 1366 by 768 works really well. Right next to it, we have this Dell monitor. This is the oldest monitor I own. It's also the first monitor I ever got. It's Dad's old Dell that came with his Dimension 1100 or something ridiculous. 1024 by 768, nothing special at all, but I have so many monitors, so why not have a dual monitor set up for the secondary? This, by the way, is my Linux testing machine. It's my, well, it's my testing machine. I do whatever I want on it. Right now, it's running Arch Linux with i3 because. Well, you'll see. I have plans to showcase more Arch Linux stuff on this channel very soon. Down here is my Nexus 7. That's just plugged into the USB hub on here for no particular reason at all. In here, we have a load of random stuff. The hard drive out the HP, because that was originally in there, and then I got a bigger one. Floppy disks. Loads of them. Um, a load of random odds and ends. A selfie stick. And Ollie's old laptop underneath. This is a blast from the two months ago past. This is my old GCSE timetable in Braille that I wrote for myself and never ever looked at ever again. Cupboard under there is full of basically nothing. And I realised I didn't go over this shelf, so this is an old Microsoft wireless keyboard. It's really nice where it takes up a lot of space, so I couldn't put it down there because it would hang over the edge. Victor Reader Stratus 4M, really nice daisy player. If you don't know what a daisy player is, then I shall make a video on it at some point. This is an old radio with a dock on it which nobody can use anymore unless you get an adapter and quite frankly I don't need it anyway, it's just still here this is a really cool old 90s VHSC camcorder that I'd really like to do some stuff with it has a video output, I'd very much like to plug it into some small little capture card, I've already got one and do something crazy on a stream with it or something, but we'll see boxes full of assorted stuff old um, digital TV box, because there was nowhere else to put it and this is my massive stack of assorted loose CDs. These aren't blanks, these are all random software and music and stuff. The other speaker. Up there is my printer and my trophy collection and my lamp. The bed is in the middle of the room now. This is not an optimal location for a bed. I just... <sighs> There's nowhere else to put it. There's too much stuff. So let's get onto this wall. Over here is... An old stereo system in Iowa, again. Uh, I use this sometimes, oh, there's a recordable tape in there, I didn't know that. Um, that's really what I use this for mainly, because it has a cassette deck. Unfortunately, I believe it runs fast, either that or everything else I own runs a bit too slow. Pencils, random things. This is what happens when you have too much stuff. There's a USB optical drive. To the right here, we have the cable box, which is full of, you guessed it, cables. We have a load of old Apple devices, there's my iPhone 4S, which is broken, well it works, but the screen smashed. There is my iPod Touch 4th generation, this is the second ever Apple device I ever got, the first one I don't have anymore, it was an iPod Shuffle and I lost it. Uh, but this is what got me into YouTube in the first place, this is Mam's old iPhone 3GS. Don't these look so small these days when you had a bigger phone? Behind there is some blank CDs, and here is the media shelf, full of 
mainly Mam's music collection, although a few of these compilation albums down this side are are mine, uh, you know, now CDs and stuff, that's a David Attenborough DVD collection, and these are random drivers on mini DVD. Down here we have some interesting stuff, there's my phone, uh, Poco Phone F1, I'd really like to make a video on it, it's a really nice phone. This is my Acer C720 Chromebook, which is the current, the only current laptop I own that actually works. Load of random dog stuff, that's an SD card reader. Down here is, this is the case I was going to build my Hackintosh in before I decided to get a Mac Pro instead. And it's falling to pieces, but it's literally the only full-size ATX case I own. I will also never get rid of this because, well, it's had a motherboard in it, it's a micro ATX motherboard, an Athlon, XP2000+, plus, I believe. And this case is the case of basically the first computer I ever used, not the first one I ever owned, it was Dad's. Um, and all of the components that used to go in here still work, I may put them back in here. Uh, they're in a different case right now, they're in an old Dell case. And yes, that is that. And I have a load of random, mostly broken or unrelated things down here, like this netbook which I fried by accident. This is someone else's old laptop which works but the Wi-Fi card gave up and it doesn't like any other type of Wi-Fi card and this is my Dell Latitude DA10 fairly popular video on my channel the Dell Latitude DA10 this is my new laptop let's take a look it still works I just don't have a power supply for it and this thing's much too old at this point to use so there's that especially once you've got a taste of a Mac Pro which is much faster and SSDs and things couple DS games, although there aren't actually any games in them because they're in a completely different place. And you can also see the dock from above is plugged in, so the iPhone 4S is charging and that's my phone cable. And that is about it! This drawer is full of useful stuff like my MacBook Air, which I wish worked but I smashed the screen on it a while ago. I'm going to have to sell this now because I want to buy a MacBook Pro, um, so I'll do that. A load of other random things. This is my Bluetooth speaker. It's a jam heavy metal. I absolutely love it. Bone conducting headphones. Everybody should have a pair of these, especially if you're blind or visually impaired. Really good for apps like Microsoft Soundscape for navigation. This drawer has a load of random assorted things in it, mainly GoPro stuff. A little tiny MP3 player and more GoPro stuff. This is an atomic watch that sets itself and also talks. So there's that. I hope you enjoyed, people. This is my main setup now, and I love it. It's almost perfect. Really, all I want to do is fix the sound system. Once I've done that, I think I'll be happy, to be honest. I'd like to get a USB 3 card and put some more upgrades into this thing. But other than that, this is my setup. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, press the dislike button. I would like to know why. Leave it in the comments. Comment anyway. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.